Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take uh, grams of an entire sample, which looking at this, this is a metallic compound, it's iron 3 oxide. Um, I'm going to show you how to take grams of it and go to just grams of one of the uh, ions. And here they want you to go to just iron. So we're talking about just iron atoms. Okay, now if you notice there's two uh, iron atoms and three oxygen atoms. Anyway, and they were nice enough to do the uh, molar mass for us. So let's try to think about how we're going. We're going from grams of this to just wanting to know grams of Fe. Okay, sometimes it might help if you want to make a chart, uh, meaning you want to go from uh, grams of Fe2O3 to grams of Fe. That's basically what you're doing. Okay, so we get, you got a little bit of a game plan. So anyway, let's go ahead and start writing the problem out. We've got a, a 15.0. Don't even make fun of my fives. 15.0 grams of iron three oxide. So it'll be 15 grams of Fe2O3 over 1. And then, if this is grams of Fe2O3, you can guess what goes down here? Mm, yeah, you're right. It's going to be grams of Fe2O3. Now, up here, we know we need to use the molar mass down here. So this is going to be 159.69. Now, this is called molar mass. That's in one mole of this Fe2O3. Good. Now, let's think about this. If this is one mole of Fe2O3, then guess what goes diagonally down here? You guessed it. One mole of Fe2O3. Now, this is where we need to start thinking. This molar ratio that we're fixing to do allows us to switch between numerous things. If we had a balanced equation, we could even switch to a different compound. We could even switch to a different, say, product or reactant. We could just switch. Okay, but luckily for us, we don't have a balanced equation right now. We just have this formula. And we're wanting to go from talking about Fe2O3 to just talking about iron. Now, how many irons are here? That's right, there's two. So that's two moles of Fe. Now if they just wanted moles of Fe, we could stop. But they wanted grams of Fe, of iron. So we need to go, we need to go another step. If this is moles of Fe, guess what goes down here? Mm -hmm. Moles of Fe. And we're going to say one mole of Fe. Now what we need to do now is get grams of Fe up here because we know that one mole of anything can also be equal to its molar mass and that would give us grams of Fe on top. So, if you look on your periodic table, you'll see that grams of, of Fe is 55.85. So that's 55.85. And we're pretty much done. All we need to do is put this into a calculator. So, we get our handy dandy cheetilator. Okay, turn this on. Oops, sorry. Turn this on, and let's start multiplying. We've got 15.0 times 2 times 55.85 alright and it's that number right there that you can't see uh, 1675.5 in the numerator divided by there's only one number in the bottom because everything else is once is divided by that 159.69 we punch that in we get 10.49 Two, two, something, something, something. Alright, so we'll write that down. So that gives us 10.49220364. That's what's in the calculator. Now, we only need three sig figs, and there's three that we need. Look to the right to round. So my answer is 10.5 grams of what? You guessed it, a fee. Now, this is how you go from grams of a compound 
to just grams of one specific atom. Okay, and I made a note up here of, of where I was heading. All right, guys. I hope this helps. I'm going from grams to grams. It's pretty much what this is, but it's you know within that same compound. All right.